Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Seth Volnoff. All right, we've got plenty to talk about here over the next uh, 48 hours or so, especially with our big storm system coming in tomorrow. This is going to be an interesting camera to watch through the day tomorrow as well. Winds are rather calm right now, but even still, you can see the camera shaking a little bit. When those winds ramp up uh, into tomorrow afternoon. It could sure look a little, little interesting out there on that Springfield camera. We know that one likes to move around right now, though. Pretty boring satellite and radar picture. Pretty empty uh, look to things right now. Just overall clear skies across the board and still very pleasant temperatures this time of night. 54 in Champaign, 63 in Mattoon and still holding on to 65 in Effingham. Winds are now finally nice and light just between about 5 and 10 miles an hour. That wind has contributed to fire danger over the last several days. And even though it takes a break tonight, it's going to uh, make a difference into the day tomorrow. 52 tonight, partly cloudy skies, not too much happening. And really throughout much of the day tomorrow, we're not going to see a whole lot going on during the actual daylight hours and again it should feel like a nice day 79 that's nice and toasty this time of year but those winds gusts could be between about 45 maybe up to 50 miles an hour before storms even arrive so we'll have to watch for some fire danger with that i'll go over that more in detail here in just a moment let's talk about that severe weather threat because i'm sure it's on everyone's mind right now with the uh, overnight update last night spc did introduce a moderate risk across a good chunk of the area and if you're not in that moderate risk you're at least in the enhanced risk don't see these too often maybe once a year around here so definitely one that you want to take seriously. So let's uh, dive into the details of what to expect. Right now, it looks like a mostly linear system is going to sweep across central Illinois after sunset tomorrow. Therefore, those linear systems, you tend to think that these strong winds are usually going to be the biggest threat. However, we'll really be watching for some of those tornadoes as well. I will say this, uh, tornadoes can cause some pretty impressive damage on a very localized scale. It's these strong winds, though. They can still cause a pretty impressive amount of damage just on a widespread scale. Obviously, a tornado is stronger than just straight line winds. But when you have it on a widespread scale, like we'll see with this system, definitely something to watch for because we could see gusts over 70 to maybe 75 miles an hour. Storm timing, this is going to be a late arriver. Might not see things in the area until about 8 p.m. You can see that pink color. We progress a little bit through the night. Very quick moving line of storms. We might see our first line really impact some major cities here around 9 p.m. And it could be out of here as early as maybe 1 or 2 a.m. So that is your storm timing. Let's look exactly at future track, what to expect here. And we'll kind of break down some key points. Here we are at 7 p.m. Still nothing in the area just yet, according to this model. Then we finally start to see some action around uh, about 8 or 9 p.m. And you can see it's mostly linear as it arrives on in. That means strong winds would be the thing to watch for, but kind of watch how it evolves through the nights here as it kind of moves on through close to I-57. It breaks apart a little bit and that may seem like a good thing, but not necessarily for us. The less linear this becomes and the more cellular in nature, that means your tornado threat is going to go up. Those super cell, super cell storms can usually pack a little bit more of a punch. So we'll watch how this line evolves through the night all up and down this line though. Strong winds are definitely possible and almost looking likely there. But as I said, very quick moving system around 2 a.m. Looks like we could finally be taking care of things and just have a few showers to deal with Saturday morning. The winds will be the big thing. As mentioned, all up and down the line, you could see anywhere in this purple zone, maybe up to 75 mile an hour gusts. It's possible there's an isolated 80 mile an hour gust somewhere in the purple. Should weaken a little bit as we move to the east, but still something to keep in mind, even if you're in that uh, lesser zone. We got a 6 out of 10 on our tornado risk index for the areas that you see there in orange. So something to watch for there. I'm going to quickly wrap up things here. Looking at your wind gusts, even tomorrow afternoon, hours before the storms arrive, you have gusts around 40 to 50 miles an hour. Even with no storms present at 8 p.m., you could see gusts near 60 miles an hour. That continues into the day Saturday. And finally, just want to touch up on this. Fire danger does increase even after these storms move through. It's not going to bring us a ton of rain, so it's going to stay dry. And when it stays windy like that, a lot to watch out for. Really quick, just want to promote our weather call service. It's going to give you a call whenever a warning is issued for your area. Definitely something that is very nice to have, especially in overnight systems like the one that we are going to see tomorrow evening. All right, seven day forecast. That's the big thing to watch for is tomorrow evening and into the early hours of Saturday morning. After that, not a whole lot on our radar here over the next seven days. In fact, more of that uh, spring like weather could be really nice to get every inch of rain that we could out of this or every tenth of an inch, I should say, in this case, because it look like we're going to get an inch of rain. So we want that rain, don't want the storms because it is dry around here and those winds definitely do not bode well for all that fire danger. A good time to sign up for that call, yes, Seth. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. All right, Dr.